gone and got myself a camper van. Something I've probably dreamt of doing for about eight years, if not more. Something I genuinely wish I'd have done a long time ago. But I've gone and done it. Those of you who follow me on social media have probably noticed that I've done some of my reels, Insta posts, on um, uh, Facebook posts in the back of the van over the last couple of weeks. That's been an absolute game changer. The guys over at Tottington Motor Company in the Berry Radcliffe area have well and truly sorted me out. They've done an awesome job and I've got this van from them. It's life changing. And as I say, I wish I'd have done it a long, long time ago. One thing I always say to people that I work with, people that I coach, blokes that I coach, is that one of the most powerful things that you can do when trying to achieve any goal, be it across the uh, any of the six pillars that I, I work with guys on, health, relationships, finance, personal development, business or career, fun, no matter what your goals are across any of those pillars, the most fundamental thing that you must do in order to increase the likelihood of you achieving that goal and also maintaining that result, potentially for life, is creating an identity that is associated with ultimately who you want to be. There was a study, uh, uh, I think it was at Oxford University, I'm sure the, the, the professor, the, the researcher was uh, Mary Spreckley, I think the name was, and they looked into medically diagnosed morbidly obese individuals who had lost a ton of weight and added years to the life. And what they did in that study is essentially compared those who were morbidly obese and lost a lot of weight and kept that weight off and those who were morbidly obese lost a lot of weight and put it back on. And yes, there was clear improvements in certain habits, more activity, consuming less food, eating healthier, whatever that means. But the fundamental difference between those who kept the weight off and those who put it back on is that they associated the habit changes with a brand new identity. They essentially put the old version of themselves to bed. Almost, if you like, gave, gave the old version of themselves a new name. The old Carl, the old Dave, the old Phil, whoever it might be. I think that's really powerful, I think that's fundamental because ultimately in order to achieve any goal you need to think, feel, act and behave in a way that is aligned with that goal, behave, behaviours, actions, thoughts and feelings. You know, if you want to get down to 80 kilos you need to think, feel, act and behave like somebody who is 80 kilos, you need to do those things. If you want to have a successful business, you need to think, feel, act and behave like a successful businessman. If you want to have the performance of an athlete, you need to think, feel, act and behave like an athlete would, and so on. Massive. If you want to make significant change, you cannot tow your old habits behind you. You can't do it, it won't work. Give you an example i had a great conversation with somebody a client of mine the other week who had an appointment at hospital and like most hospitals there's a there's a, a costa coffee in the foyer and when they entered the hospital they saw the costa genuine true story by the way they saw the costa and they told themselves that at the end of the appointment they were going to go into costa and treat themselves, get them something. That usually involves a, a, a latte with syrups and probably squirty cream, pastries of some form or, or a cake. Quite a long story short, at the end of the appointment, they came down, they, they had a word with themselves, they, they managed to overcome the voice in their ear, their ego, the chimp, devil on the shoulder, whatever you want to call it. They managed to overcome that and they decided instead to get a black Americano, go home and eat the food that they'd made the night before. Great. An hour after that, they we, we had a scheduled coaching call remotely on Zoom. And they told me about this story. And I think they were shocked by my response. My response was 
so what? Who gives a shit? And of course I was trying to be a bit tongue in cheek about it and a bit comical. But to an extent I meant it. If their identity was associated with an individual who didn't eat crap, eat sugar, eat unnecessary calories, eat things that wouldn't get them to where they want to be. If their identity, if, they, if them as a person, they, they, they didn't do that, that wasn't their norm, they wouldn't celebrate it. Just like if a professional athlete went into a gym and completed the training program that the s c coach provided for them, they wouldn't celebrate it. It's, it's, it's normal, it's their everyday life, it's what they do. And, and that's the point, that's the whole thing with regard to creating this identity for yourself and why it's so important. I think it's really powerful. And that's not to say you shouldn't celebrate your wins, of course you should. Of course you should celebrate milestones or achieving goals or whatever it might be. But the non-negotiable tasks that should be in place, the non-negotiable habits that should be part of your everyday, we shouldn't celebrate those because celebrating them implies that they're one-off. And all of this that I talk about with regard to one identity is one of the reasons why I opted to get this van. It's awesome. This van allows me to be the person who I want to be. It, it allows me to be happy. I get more return for my investment, if you like, by having this van, despite losing the luxuries that came with my previous car. Before my eldest was born, he's almost five, before he was born, I would spend 50 weekends out of 52 in Snowdonia and all the Lake District, but predominantly Snowdonia because we had a accommodation as part of being a member of Chester Mountaineering Club. I was much healthier, much happier. Loved getting out in the outdoors, did my mountain leaders course, qualified so I could take people out professionally. Adored it. And of course, like with most people, you know, you have a kid, your priorities change, you can't necessarily commit the same amount of time to doing those things. You know, you've got, you've got other more important things to be doing. Of course, I appreciate that. And I don't sort of regret how the last four or five years have been. They've been amazing. But for me as an individual, I need to be in the outdoors. I need a sense of adventure. I need to be doing that stuff. I need to be out in the hills. You know, I, I want to be winter climbing. I want to be out getting the ax out and the crampons out and, and ascending a, a, a summit, climbing a summit and then walking down skiing doing all of those things and that's what this van ultimately helps me do it's it's part of my identity it's something that i i now am going to be involved with in some shape or form every day because it's going to be so much easier rather than having to potentially pay to stay over somewhere an airbnb which can be quite expensive or or camp which takes some planning and preparation i've got everything in the back of the van ready good to go it's, uh, it's, it's an awesome van, I made up with it. Uh, I opted for this one because it was 10 grand cheaper than a transporter, Volkswagen, which ultimately you're paying for the badge. But it's a long wheelbase, it's bigger. The, uh, the van, it's, it's, it's got six seats, three in the front, three in the back, all seat belts, which is awesome. Makes it easier having the, the, the kids uh, car seats in the car. Got a rock and roll bed, which sleeps two people. Got the pop top, which sleeps two people, which is great for, for the four of us. Abby and my partner, like I said, my, my eldest who's nearly five and we've, we've got a, a newborn who's, who's almost eight weeks old. So it's, it's gonna be life changing. It's gonna not only give me the opportunity to get out and do what I wanna do, get back into photography, spend more time in the outdoors. It's gonna allow me to when I, when I take the guys uh, from the Op Rebuild course, one of the things that I do is, is once a month, I take the guys out on, a, on a, a trip into the mountains. We do something, we make it fun, teach navigation, teach a little bit of bushcraft. In the summer and spring months, when the weather is better, we, we do overnight camps uh, and, and teach all of those things. For, for those of you who, for those of them who can um, commit more time and, and do two day events, those that can't and just do one, come out, we get in the hills. It's an opportunity to meet in person, it's an opportunity to talk about the things that we're working on, be it training, nutrition, or other aspects of health, psychological, physical, physiological, and the other five pillars that I mentioned earlier, relationships, finance, business, career, personal development, fun, all of those things. 
it's going to give me an opportunity to rather than have to head out and do that day and then go home it's going to be a, a, a long day there's going to be a long drive to get to snowdonia brecon peak district Cairngorms, sky wherever it is that we host these events once a month and then drive back again having the van is going to allow me to stay over and and, and make it a weekend and for me one of my non-negotiables as far as part of, part of my fun pillar is that at least once a month I want to be doing that I want to get that sense of adventure the ability to just be able to stay out and spend more time in the outdoors because it's amazing for for your mindset of course personally I don't do it for exercise because I try not to see it as part of my health pillar personally I've got different goals for for that section but it's going to be a game changer this in comparison to the the transporter is a lot bigger there's so much more room in the back it's got a, a, a gas hob with two gas burners on it, sink, so I can cook. Went away last weekend with, with Abby and the youngest, uh, the baby, and we, we had steak and potatoes for, for tea and uh, an alcohol-free beer, of course, which was awesome. So the ability to be able to cook hot food, uh, albeit it does have a gas outlet uh, uh, for barbecue, so we can have barbecues when, when the weather's better and we don't have to sort of sit inside but it's incredibly spacious, pop top up, can stand up, it's really well lit. Uh, tons and tons of storage, so I can I can take all my camera gear with me on these outings and adventures, bushcraft gear. Uh, you know, in, in, in the case of this weekend, I'm taking the guys into Snowdonia, uh, and, and axes and crampons are required because it's had a, a fresh dumping of snow. So I'm gonna be able to store all that gear, so it's gonna be ready at a moment's notice, which is gonna be so much easier to be able to just finish sessions at the gym or finish sessions uh, on Zoom, coaching calls, and just head to where it is I need to be. Uh, and it, and it's, it's great for work too. It's gonna allow me to work from wherever I wanna work from, provided I've got 4G signal that I can send over to my laptop. I can do calls from wherever I wanna do them from. And it's gonna give me and my eldest an opportunity to have a couple of adventures and have some dad and lad time, which is also very important. So expect some more content from me, expect more videos from me, because similar to the content I put out a number of years ago, I'm gonna be getting out back out into the outdoors a lot more. I'll no doubt take you for a more detailed tour of the van at some point, and show you some of the gadgets and accessories that I believe are a necessity to making the whole experience more comfortable um, and I'm sure there'll be many more videos in the coming weeks where I'll be producing content from the van trips which I have been on and at some point like I say as part of the videos I want to be putting some educational content out there it's my intention to help as many guys as physically possible ultimately get to where they want to be be it in their health their physique, their self-confidence, their energy levels, their focus, and ultimately the impact that all of that has on their longevity, their long-term health, adding years to their life, becoming the person that they want to be in their relationships, not just with partners, but also kids, family members, friends, work colleagues. Build that sense of fun again, which we all take for granted, develop things personally, be it skills, routine, structure, and of course be more successful in work, business, and career. Because ultimately when you are more structured, when you have more energy, you're able to focus more, you've got more clarity. That's my goal. So it's my intention with these videos via YouTube to get some educational content out there so I can help you. So if you would like to see more of that content, then please do like this video, it helps the algorithm massively because more people then get to see it which also helps me grow the channel and if you want to see more of this content if you want to keep on top of the content we'll be putting out over the next few weeks and months then do me a favor and also hit the subscribe button so that you get notified of every video that i release thank you for spending the time watching this video and you will certainly be hearing from me soon